all, it's Tapas in the house and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, my name is Francis. I'm a registered nurse and acute care NP student as well as an LNFA student. Um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, it's been a while since my last video. Lots of things happened um, personally, academically, um, but I'm glad to be back and I'll have to get, I'll update you guys later um, about what's happened in my life. Um, today's gonna be a little different video. Um, I'm going to take you on a journey with me, kind of just like to see what it's like um, as a day in the life of an RNFA student, uh, more specifically the didact didactic court. We're going to have some fun in the lab, uh, learning some surgical techniques and all that stuff, um, and just show you what it's like to attend an RNFA program. Um, I, again, I am attending the RNFA program at UMass Chan Medical School through the Graduate School of Nursing. Um, and just want to put a disclaimer out there. I am not sponsored by the school. Um, however, I did get permission from my camp, uh, from my campus, as well as my fellow classmates to film um, the experience. Um, I got my little oat, make, uh, oat milk latte, iced latte. That's kind of my go-to drink. My hair is kind of messy a little bit, so I apologize, but I worked a 12-hour shift uh, yesterday. Um, so yeah, let's go. Three. Two, one. All right, so I'm gonna start with a little voiceover today um, just to kind of show you what we're doing in on campus. Um, so here you'll see a picture of the SIM kit. So every RNFA student goes home with one of these suture kits, SIM suture kits. Um, it's from a company called SIM um, Vivo. Um, and again, this is all part of the tuition and um, you get this when you um, start your first day and the, um, in the lab and you see you'll get um, a couple scissors, some um, clamps, um, you get some surgical um, knife and then you get a bunch of, and then you get a practice suturing kit. It's usually like a little padded kind of foam material um, and then you get, um, we got a bunch of um, different types of sutures um, and actually in class you go over um, you know, the different types of sutures that are used during surgery, at least the most common ones. Um, so, you know, you have your absorbable versus non-absorbable. Absorbable, you have some um, synthetics. Um, you have your gut um, sutures. So um, it's a nice it's a nice way to practice at home and you also get access to, um, the good thing about this video, or the good thing about this um, suturing kit is it comes with an online um, link so you can actually click on videos out um, while you're at home and you actually practice along with um, with the kit so it's kind of great to be able to do that and now here we are entering the um, sim lab um, so it's a little just kind of snippet of what it looks like um, it's really cool that um, UMass Chan Medical School has all of this set up for us um, and you know all the equipment that you need is right there um, here you'll see us walking outside just into the hallway Here's just a picture of what the setup looks like. So you'll see on our left, um, there's a little um, table or a tray. That's where all the surgical instruments are at, um, our gauze. Um, you see a little disposable bin for any, you know, practicing for um, how to dispose your gown. And you'll see a little device just right behind the bed. Um, and that's where the electrocautery kind of um, comes from. Uh, and then here you'll see, um, this is where the professor, um, Dr. Ayad, brings out the different types of um, surgical instruments. So you'll see um, a couple clamps, some forceps, um, the different types of, um, just like different materials that are used, most commonly used in the surgical um, setting. And here's Dr. Ayad bringing out um, surgical instruments that are used, most commonly used in the orthopedic surgical practice setting. Here's a video of um, two of my classmates and um, our professor kind of teaching us the how to place the initial suture, um, how to properly hold surgical instruments um, to avoid injury. Um, and then right here, 
is a picture of our professor teaching us how to pass surgical instruments, which is just as important as learning how to, um, you know, do the surgery itself. Because again, you are going to be the first assist, so you have to be able to learn how to receive instruments and also pass it on to your surgeon as well. And then this video, um, you'll see um, us learning how to properly drape a patient um, to prepare them for surgery, which is very important because you want to establish um, multiple sterile fields to avoid exposure to the tissue um, that is um, going to be uh, undergoing surgery. Typically, the circulating nurse will document the expiration date and the loss. Hey guys, so um, thank you for watching that video. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm glad you guys, I hope you guys learned something from just a little snip, snippet of um, what it's like to attend class or didactics for an RNFA student. Um, I know it's been a while, um, so prepare for my next video where I'll be doing an update in terms of what's going on in my life um, and how my surgical residency is going. Um, and also, I've been receiving a lot of emails and messages from you guys, from my viewers, and um, I apologize for not responding um, swiftly just because there's a lot of things moving on and I promise I will get to them eventually, um, so just give me some time. Um, as again, much love to you all and thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.